guys, welcome to another video. I'm Stefan Gunville with Freedom Academy HQ.com where I help people overcome their shyness and their social anxiety. So today I've got a, a question for you. Why do you feel social anxiety? I don't see enough people asking the question why. And the question why is probably the most important question of them all. What triggers your social anxiety? Okay, why do you feel this? What is it that you're scared of, um, of having happen when you're, so in, when you're in social situations? If you were to actually explore that, um, that um, question, you would get a good insight on how to actually fix your problem, okay? Because what's going on, I think, behind your social anxiety is that in your past, okay, you felt very awkward and you had what I call traumatizing social events, okay? And this is a big part of my book. It's basically a, what I base all of my exposure on and my mindfulness techniques. Um, but basically, a traumatizing social event, what that is, that is an event that made you feel so freaking bad and so freaking yucky and awkward and embarrassing that um, it basically created an imprint on yourself, on your brain, okay? So this is called, this is what I call a pain imprint, okay? And you might have a couple of these pain imprints, but a pain imprint is basically because you felt so bad, you're uh, basically suffering from post PTSD, you know, post uh, traumatic stress disorder, because I, and this is what I found to be true in my social anxiety also is basically because you felt so bad and you had such a such maybe it had been a few of them a few situations that you felt really bad about and it really sucked you know a lot of socially anxious people have a couple of these in a drawer in their brain you know the ones you really don't like to talk about and think about the ones that hurt the most those are the reason why right now you are nervous in social situations so what do i mean by that well because those situations hurt you so much they created a pain imprint on your brain and now when you're in social situations in new social situations you're expecting that stuff to happen again so you're wary okay it's just like um let's say because i said post-traumatic stress disorder before okay so think about a soldier Okay, a soldier that went to the Korean War or something like that, any war you can think about, he went through hell, you know, and he's shell-shocked. Okay, he, he got, his friends got blown away, he's seen chopped limbs, the whole shebang, he's, his people got shot right in front of him. He's freaking out, okay, he has experienced a pain imprint. So right now, it's been 10 years after the war, but he's still feeling post-traumatic stress disorder. You know, so someone, uh, you know, he's in a shop somewhere and someone there, there, someone opens the door and there's a lot of wind and the door bangs a, a, across the, 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 you know, the, across the wall and it does a big bang, you know, and he thinks it's a, it, it's a freaking gunshot or something. So he's, you know, he's um, freaking out right now and that's post-traumatic stress disorder. You know, it's because of the pain that he felt in the past that now every, he's like looking at every situation in, the, in, the, in that context, you know. And your social anxiety is not that different. The pain that you experienced in, the, the, in your past, it led you to be wary in social situations right now. And it led you to be wary in social situations right now, which led you to... Um, engage in avoidance and control behaviors you know so it 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 made you try and avoid those situations because now you were starting to be nervous in this those situations you didn't want to have the same thing that happened in your past happen again so you kind of created a defense mechanism around yourself to have those types of situation happen again but that defense mechanism is actually the main thing that's keeping your social anxiety alive today, you know, because for most people that defense mechanism, that kind of those behaviors that you created in those 
tactics that you've engaged in to, to keep similar situations from happening again, they make you retreat from social, uh, from so, from social situations. They make you avoid anxiety producing situations. And if you were to actually look at the root cause of the reason why you still feel social anxiety today, that is the main reason. So the reason why you feel social anxiety is basically the same as what is triggering your social anxiety. What are you afraid of having happened? You know, so, you know, it might be that uh, when you were younger, you know, you you froze on stage or something like that and now you find yourself in social situations today where you're afraid of freezing when you're talking and stuff so it's making you really nervous you know it can be a bunch of stuff it's it might be different for everybody the the specific situation i'm talking about but that doesn't mean that the mechanics behind that fear isn't the same and that's what i'm saying i i'm thinking that the mechanics be, behind everybody's fear in social situations is the same. The situation might not be the same, but the mechanics are. So just wanted to give you a little insight there on um, on that little video. Um, so guys, if you enjoy my videos, I'd like I, I'd really love for you to subscribe. You know, I really love the encouragement, and it's gonna push me to um, make even more videos. So. Also, if you want my personal help and you're resonating with what I'm saying right now, you can drop me a comment either on my website, which I'm going to link in the description below, or in the comment box below, and I'm, I'd love for, to make a video response for you. And also, if you want a free training on learning exactly how I have overcome my social anxiety, you can click the first link in the description box, and I'm going to show you the two things, two simple things that I've done to overcome my social anxiety. Guys, as always, thanks a lot and see you in the next video.